What is going on ladies and gentlemen? We are back doing a video on the bad moments in Lao Cao history. Today we are reacting to 800 pounds, one ring, Wings of Redemption versus Boogie. This is from Drama Alert. So Keemstar tweeted this out and said anyone is free to react to it. So that's what we're going to do today. So this is the preview for their fight coming up May 13th. So let's watch this and see how it is. Wings of Redemption. And this is Boogie2988. And if you God damn, he looks so old. Individuals, I don't have to convince you to watch this documentary. I know you're watching every second. But if you don't know them, let God me explain damn, Boogie to got you bigger. Didn't he have a surgery at one point? Out, suggesting that we were in talks to have these two box each other went absolutely viral getting 5 million views. Yeah, people want to see that. Is happening? Oh, there's uh, Sir Moist. Event. I mean, I'll be honest, I'll, I'll probably watch it. I am very curious to see how this unfolds. These are two lol cows. You have to keep that in mind. And they, they see, know even Sir Moist aware. knows about lol cows. This fight is a huge step in a direction away from a lol cow. Exactly, and that's why DSP won't do this. A uh, lol cow. A person or a group of people laughed at for actions that they take despite not trying to be funny. They may try to take themselves seriously but are often milked for laughs with or without their knowledge. Teams like the Browns, Oilers, Redskins, and Grizzlies are some of the greatest Lao Cows in over the past decade world of sports. The Oilers not so much anymore because they're in the playoffs again. But I can see the other ones for sure. Definitely the Browns. See, that's why you're a Lao Cow, Phil. DSP, I'm talking to you. That is why you're a Lao Cow. Hey guys, it's me, Francis, and I uh, use your brother name as COD Nuclear. 360, All oh, those were the classic days, days with Francis. Boogie started his career on YouTube making Francis videos. See, if I didn't think this fight was fixed, I would bet on wings. But this is this is gonna be fixed. You know, this fight's gonna be rigged. Acted like he was hacked in World of Warcraft. It went absolutely viral, getting a shout out from Ray William Johnson at the time. However, as he was making these Francis videos, he was getting insecure because the comments were all thinking that's who he really was. Hey guys, it's me. Yeah, because that was before characters were played right on uh, YouTube. Yeah, I got my camera. I got my camera about. Is that a wig through. in the back? So Boogie started making different videos covering all different topics on the internet, showing the audience that he wasn't actually the Francis person. A lot of you say that I inspire you, and I think that's amazing. But there's somebody out there who inspires me, and his name is uh, Diamond Dallas Page. Oh, DDP! Self high five. Was, it opened him up to even more. Is he going to talk about DDP online. yoga? <laughs> Validated so much of the pain that has been inside of me. For example, many of these bullies would constantly make up rumors that his wife at the time was cheating on him. And then when he published oh, that was his wedding. They were getting a divorce. That was the fuel that the bullies pretty cool gave wedding. to go in full force. It was pretty great being public with that because we shared all of the really good parts of our life. But just like anywhere else or anyone else on social media, I did not show the bad times. And our marriage was far from perfect. Over the last decade, the bullying got so extreme and so insane that one of these bullies showed up at his well, house well, to harass... Let's be fair here. I've seen some clips. I'm not too familiar with Boogie, but I believe at one point he lost his damn mind. He was talking about how his fans or haters or trolls or detractors, whoever, were worse than rapists and Nazis. And his exact quote was, at least the rapists and Nazis believe in something which is absolutely disgusting i almost threw up in my own mouth but the fact that you you look at this group of people that don't like you that they criticize you and you say you're worse than rapists or nazis because at least they believe in them in something that's disgusting i think keemstar is trying to lighten this up but there is certain things boogies and Wings both did to deserve some of the hate. Not all the hate, but some of the hate. Him in real life. Boogie came out with a firearm 
and shot a well, warning shot? Okay, so I did see a clip of this as well. There is something Keemstar's leaving out, though. Is that Boogie kind of called his bluff. Tried to call his bluff, I should say. And told him, oh yeah, show up. I dare you. I dare you to show up. I was inviting him to show up. So he's basically taking this guy, Frank Hassel, who makes a whole life on bullying people and harassing people, and you tell him to come in and see what happens? Boogie, that's not something you say to somebody. Fire the warning shot now. To scare the bully away? But instead, Boogie got arrested for shooting the gun in city limits. Yeah, he broke the law. On social media, it is because I was in fact charged because of that incident that happened last September when a stalker came to my house. Um, Even with all this, Boogie's done pretty good financially on the YouTube platform. But after a divorce and after losing a lot of money in wow. crypto, currently Boogie's on the verge. So he's trying to change all this. So yeah, Boogie did get rich and then lose his money on crypto. But he made some bad investments. He changed up his YouTube, so he tried to do like travel stuff. He didn't do Francis as much. He changed his whole appearance. And when his wife left, the whole Francis character kind of fell apart because him and his wife were writing the scripts for it. So the whole heart and soul of the Francis skits were gone. It was never the same again. And his views, his income, everything went down. So it's not just like, oh, I'm a good guy. I don't know what happened. Losing like, his home. This is some BS right here. In the wrong section, and I pretty much lost most of everything. Oh, by the way, I want to point out, he's doing this outside his house. So you notice how he's not doing it in his game room to show off all the collectibles and all the stuff he usually has behind him. I just, I want to point that out. That sucks. That really sucks. It is what it is, though. I mean, like, I've come to terms with it. But I need to get back to work. I have some savings, but they're going quickly. And if I don't start live streaming and making content and getting ad revenue and stuff again, I'm going to lose everything. And I definitely do not want to do that. Yeah. And uh, we had a. Oh, he totally skipped something over here where Boogie was begging people to buy his shirts. He was begging for super chats. He was begging for um, people to give him money. Like, in that now deleted video, he was talking about many ways you can give him money. And he's just getting, oh my god, this is, oh my god, this is and bad. I trapped at sea, and I got back there with a, with a Winchester 1200, and the guy would just keep spawning. I like to see how he twists Wings of Redemption here. <laughs> somebody kept popping up there. Wings of Redemption was one of the first Call of Duty YouTubers. And at the time, everybody had horrible quality videos using a capture device known as a Dazzle. Wings had a huge advantage over his competitors because he had a Hawpog HD and his video quality was much better. He would upload videos to YouTube with his Call of Duty gameplays and then tell life stories over them. Oh man, I'm back and I'm here to save you from some dull commentary. It's your boy Wings of Redemption. Wings yeah, so Wings 2023 is uh, a doll. Director, which was a big deal back in the day. I, I think people think I have this anger issue. I, I don't have anger issues. He was so successful that he started a podcast known as PKA with FPS Kyle and Woody's Gamer Tag. From the podcast, Wings was known for his crazy tags. Because I like the guy to have a pretty penis too. <laughs> his crazy tags. Oh my god. Are you actually going to go into like his controversial stuff? His career was only going up. But then he had a 1v1 Call of Duty match versus a zombies player known as Tom Syndicate. Now, Tom Syndicate played zombies, right? He didn't even play against. Well, Keemstar is trying Wings to change the whole history of Wings of Redemption and Boogie. God. So this was going to be an easy win for Wings. I'm just glad I'm just glad you're playing because there's a lot yeah. of people there's a lot of people I want to see how he twists playing. what he says at the oh, end yeah. I probably won't be on painkiller already again I'm, I broke my controller you broke your controller <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep fucking left. after the devastating oh against Tom he cut it out he cut out when 
Wings of Redemption called him the F word. I'm not talking about the U C K word. I'm talking about the F A word. He cut it out. He's trying to change history here. That's not what happened. From Syndicate in the one v one Call of Duty. Fuck. Why the fuck you stream that shit? Wings of Redemption's career started going into a major decline. He was no longer known as a good Call of Duty player. But even though his career was on the decline, he still had a wildly successful podcast on PKA. Until Woody's Gamer Tag and FPS Kyle and Wings decided to do a PKA camping trip. Oh, I see him here. In the woods I want to hear you twist this. Absolutely nothing I like play. to point out, he skipped the whole uh, Kyle boot camp section. You notice that when... Kyle was trying to help him lose weight and Boogie or not Boogie Wings quit on him remember that like 48 hours Woody's gamer tag showed up FPS Kyle showed up Wings did not show up Woody and Kyle were so upset that Wings didn't show up that they kicked him off his own podcast he just doesn't fucking come he just doesn't fucking come and and, and, and it's now it's just me and Woody in the woods after this, his videos stopped getting less views and he didn't even have his podcast anymore. So in order to make ends meet, he had to stream video games to make money. Look here. Look here. Look, listen. Well, this is this is some alternative world then the video here. got to see the real Wings of Redemption. I wanted it so fucking bad. Like he's trying to change history. Raging and freaking out because he lost in a video game. Like I'm not the biggest. Well, I'm not a fan at all of Boogie or Wings. But at least be honest with their history. Wings have been stuck in the last decade of a horrible loop of bullying and harassment. Wow. So he's gonna say they're bullied and harassed. You're just going to skip all the, you know, pedophile stuff, like the pedophile quotes, you know, the age of consent. You're just going to talk, not talk about, you know, playing in school shootings. You're not going to talk about any of that stuff. You know, hope your family dies in an automobile, automobile wreck. Like, you're just going to skip over all of that. Wings and Boogie have a lot in common. First of all, they're both fat, weighing in at like 400 pounds each. Both of them had weight loss surgery, you know, like a rubber band on their stomach. And they both gained so they it back. Eat as much. They both lost a bunch of weight and then gained it all back. Yeah, there both you go. Wings and Boogie were some of the first creators on the platform. Wings starting in 2008, Boogie starting in 2006. They both Wings look so old. Career, and now their careers in the pits. <laughs> okay, so listen. All right. Misfit Boxing is KSI's company. It's huge. It's massive. Like eight or ten events a year. Millions and millions of fans. And as you know, I have been setting up boxing matches behind the scenes for years. Right here on this show, I'm trying Yeah, I will give it to Keem. He is a good businessman. He'll do what's best for business, even if he doesn't like the people so involved. Mams Taylor over at Misfit Boxing and he's Happy he's had quite the history with Wings of Redemption. Set up the prelims for the next KSI pay-per-view event. If you don't know what prelims are, they're like the fights that you get to watch for free before the pay-per-view starts. I say yes, but I want complete creative control. And they tell me you can set up any four fights you want. Anyone. This is my moment. I have to break the internet. I have to set up a fight that you 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 can't even refuse not to Well, watch. to be honest, so it didn't break the inter I go internet. For Boogie and Wings because like, this is so impossible. It like, made a ripple, but can never it's not happen. like the on like fire so moment you thought obstacles. it was. First of all, Boogie is a giant pussy. No, he is. He's never been in a fight in his life. He's constantly apologizing. Oh, God. Sorry, Wings is going to destroy him if it was a real what? fight. The, the idea of him fighting someone physically? No way. It's not happening. Wings of Redemption doesn't leave his mobile home. <laughs> he lives in a trailer, and he is not leaving it. All right? He, he was supposed to go to PKA on that camping tri trip. Did he show up? 
No. On top of that, in order to do a boxing match, I'd like to point out in the past, Wings you has said done, if he ever got ten thousand dollars to do a boxing match, he would throw it, take one punch, match. and just fall These down. Two soda drinking like whales are the, probably the most unhealthy people on all of YouTube. And on top of that. These guys got bullies, trolls, people that harass them on a daily basis, and their haters have been trying to get them put on a do not fly list ever since this ever started. I'm not joking. But the biggest challenge for these two are the medicals. I needed to get these guys in shape. Yeah, how I the hell did they pass the medicals? To make this thing happen, and I've been calling them every single day to make sure they're not drinking soda to make sure that they're like doing some sort of cardio, that they're punching a bag. And they would tell me that they're losing weight. They would tell me that they're exercising, but I didn't believe them. I just see it for myself. Oh, is this the one where he found the um, the Pepsi and Wings fridge? Ladies and gentlemen, we're about two minutes out from being the first YouTubers ever to go to Wings or Redemption's house. And let me tell you, uh, I'm on the edge of my seat, literally driving to this thing. I don't know if I'm pulling up to a mansion or a double wide. Does he not have enough money to get like a, a phone holder? A double wide, though. Stop. Dude, I've never been more excited in my life. This, I, I've done a lot of things, but this might be my favorite day of all time. I'm super. I don't even know what to say. The myth, the man, the wings, the wings of redemption. Of redemption. Oh my God, we're getting so close. Bro, this is like meeting Santa for me. He's <laughs> like a, myth, a mythical. This is the first YouTube. It's funny because they're talking about how he's a lao cow, but my hero. I've never seen you more. They're patronizing him. I'm a really excited guy, but this this might be a top three for me. Like they're making fun of him it's doing this. Nice. The house next to it is way nicer. Okay, well, he said he was getting a new roof. This one needs a new roof. Yeah, this one needs one. That one is. Are you sure this is it? This is what, look, what it looked like when I pulled it up. Okay. Open the door. But there is an exercise bike on the porch. Well. There is. And there's neon lights back there. See oh, that's him. They looked it up on Google Map. Oh, <laughs> American flag for Wings of Redemption. Yeah, hold on, wait. Be, 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 cool, be, cool, be cool. Be cool. I don't want to know. Yeah, what's up, Wings? What's up, bro? Yeah, what's going on? Can I get a photo, like, right off the bat? <laughs> yeah, can I get a picture? <laughs> he does want a bunch of face. I don't know why. So, Boogie's basically been saying that, you know, he's definitely going to win this, that you can't stand up more than 45 seconds. That's a lot. <laughs> how, 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 these are two-minute rounds. Are you going to make it through these rounds easy as far as... I got a feeling like this fight is only going to be one round. <laughs> I could, like, I figured... You want me to be honest? Yeah. I figured the first one is going to be... I'm going to be exhausted by the end of the first round. Like, this is weird how on. he's trying to make them into, like, these good guys that are yeah, being bullied and harassed by the internet. But, but they don't leave in, you know, seconds. him talking about his uh, age of consent comments, about how he would play in a mass shooting, how um, he wished people's families would die in an automobile wreck. All, you know, stuff like that. All his racist stuff, his sexist stuff. Talking to minors online. You know, Shay. Yeah, if it was a real fight, he would knock Boogie out. But I got this huge feeling. This fight is rigged. It's got to be. Oh, there's kid behind the camera, the parasite. Made money off his dad's death. Why are you doing this fight? Why did you like? Kid behind the camera had T-shirts ready for his dad to die, within 24 hours or 48 hours or something like that. My savings is not where I want it to be, and I want more money to put into savings. Like I don't want to get into the strategy. At least he's willing to get into the ring, unlike DSP. One round two, KO, TKO, toss him out of the ring. It's How are you feeling? Be, it's going to be a knockdown. It's either going to be a TKO or a knockdown. They're all depends. The, most likely, I figure the refs going to stop it. So I think I don't hit hard enough. Ref stoppage. Put Boogie completely out. I, I hit hard enough to put him down. It'd be hilarious if they both step into the ring and then Wings of Redemption gives Boogie one punch and he gets knocked out. I'm going to laugh if that happens. Um, you know, he's probably got some type of arthritis. 
Oh, is that Kelly in the background? Look at those boobs just swinging back and forth. So Boogie 2988, Arkansas, here we come. And ladies and gentlemen. So is this like what, Battle of the South? We're now. Arkansas versus um, of the pistol Carolina. Shot. The scene of the crime. <laughs> the scene of the crime. We are talking about Mountain Dew drinking Boogie 29. Yeah, Pepsi versus Mountain Dew. Oh my god, that's it! Yeah, that's it. That is it. This is gonna be fun. Oh my Let's fucking god. That's where Frank Hassel harassed the fuck out of Boogie. And, and he pulled it. out a gun from like the 1800s. Dude, he was gonna rob a stagecoach with it. Let's like, see where he shot. That was a dumb thing for Boogie to do, to shoot his gun in the air. Like, what if there was a kid, because... That bullet has goes up. It has to go down. So what if it hit somebody like a kid or something? He could have killed someone. Exactly. We got three cars there. Oh god damn! Look at that. That's a horrible stance and punch. Like with wings, at least he had good form. Look at him! Look at that punch! That is a horrible punch. Oh my god. If it was real, Wings would just wipe him with- Oh my god. Wings would kill him in a real fight. Look at that! Look at that! That's horrible jab. Yeah, this is like the fakest fight I've ever seen. Uh, because this is two 400 pound men who have effectively- uh, I'm sorry, Jordy. But we've effectively ruined our own lives. We've ruined our own bodies, right? We've ruined Plus, our Wings own of Redemption is younger, is too. Much younger. Lives, I want to say Wings careers, is like 35, 36, respect, and Boogie is in his 40s. Ball, that's great, but that's not why either of us are doing this. I hope not. Okay? It really comes down to the fact that I think you're going to see two desperate men who are. Oh, desperate they're definitely to desperate. Us, desperate to get better, desperate to get healthy, desperate to to be better people fighting it out in that ring. That's why I'm doing it. That's, you know, and if I have to go through Jordy to get to And a lot of people have told me that Boogie's Jordy been very manipulative. Better, healthier, um, right. He likes to manipulate people and stuff. Of and character and strength I have to actually go through. Oh. My brain is constantly telling me this is dangerous. He's constantly telling people, back people back what they want to hear you know, instead of what he right? says. And when I go through with it, I hope I earn some community respect, but I think the respect that I'm really going to earn is mine. That's 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 who needs to learn a little bit of respect, right? Like that's the thing that I've always been. And for what of, everyone's been telling me, he constantly he does something stupid and then apologize, and it's like a cycle over and over and, and over. That comfort became my prison, right? I, I've not been taking the risks that a human is supposed to take, and this is making up for that. This, and if you and if you die in that ring, then what a way to go, man! Right? Like we all want to die fighting. We all want to die. A warrior, we all want to die fighting for our, our health, our life, our the people we love, our self respect. Uh, you gotta die of something. W would it be better to die in the ring or die in one of these fucking chairs sitting around this house playing video games? What's the better way to go? If I have to die, it'll be a part of YouTube legacy to die in that ring. Oh, well, you could always die on a stream. Oh, the got the I wouldn't want anything to happen to him, <laughs> but uh, you know, it's possible. You could. Die on stream. So they're gonna get paid for the fight, and then they're gonna get paid for the podcast. They're gonna make money. Like they are gonna make bank, and DSP is gonna be begging for tips for the rest of his life. So look, I go to Wings and Boogie's house. They're both exercising. They both actually lost weight. Except for Wings, there was Pepsi contract. in his fridge. And I'm gonna be honest. Look, I had fun at both of their houses. We've had some laughs. Roll it. Wings, were you doing donuts with that chair? 
Like, what is that circle right there? I used to, uh, I used to have my setup over here. Oh, okay. And like that's like like that's from just years of gaming. <laughs> that's so intense. I need to know yeah, what created that motion. Gentlemen, he's been doing donuts in this thing. How many chairs have you gone through? Two. Two? That's it? Two. That's What's it. the brand, by the way? This is a. I think one of his chairs broke on stream uh, too. I work comfort. It's a 24-hour chair. It comes about 800 bucks. Damn. Yeah. They need to uh, sponsor. Yeah. Put a hole in the goddamn ground. That was, that was the old the chair. Threw the old chair away. I went through. Somebody said I've had relationships that didn't last as long and was as strong as that chair. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? I'll give him that. That was a good joke. Stuff. You see this out every year, man. We got, we got oh God, Boogie, Boogie is Boogie such a fucking pussy. We got pumpkin head. We got all the tombstones. My God, what a fucking pussy. Not for the Halloween stuff, but just in general, oh, Boogie's a pussy. Was she, she hiding with, up there with the guy she was fucking? Yeah, she was hiding up there with McJuggernuggets. You remember that? <laughs> you know, she was like, she was like, can I get a little head? <laughs> <laughs> He's doing it. This has got the makings of a fight, a uh, fake fight all over it. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> got a flat tire. Got a flat tire on it. <laughs> then it looks like you're pulling the kayak! Why would you just pull it instead of push it? So, what are you doing? You're Those are such flies. horrible oh, punches. I'm hunting flies, buddy. Why? My god, he's gonna get his ass wings, beat. <laughs> wings is gonna win this. This was a real fight, at least. Oh, well, fighting in VR, and he still, he doesn't get the right stance. He doesn't know how to fight. What? I get hit for real in this thing. Ow! Stop! 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 Bro, this guy is incredibly strong. I don't know if you guys know this, I weigh 220 pounds. This thing underneath me weighs over 350 pounds. Oh, look at her bouncing, too. She's excited. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hit him in the face. Are you sure? 110%. I seen the video of Kelly hitting you with the pads, but she she didn't have gloves on. Yeah, it's, it's impromptu. I seen Boogie's bullshit ass video, and he's all like, I'm gonna knock you out one punch, and I'm like, dog. At least they're trash talking somewhat. Right, let's see it. Let's see it. It's go time. I bet she always wanted to do this to him. <laughs> Like, it's kind of weird, they're treating Wings as like a real boxing competitor, and then they're like joking around with Boogie, and just making like a joke out of it. Okay, so we still have a major obstacle in our way. They're medicals. They need to pass a medical exam. I'm pretty sure they did. I don't know how the hell they did, but I'm pretty sure they did. Did you pass your medicals? Yeah, I passed. Yes! <laughs> what? Have you, did Boogie reach out to you at all? No, he hasn't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call him right now. <laughs> Good shit, Wings. Good shit, Wings. I hope he has the paperwork to back it up. How the hell did Wings of Redemption and Boogie pass a physical? I still don't understand that. Did you pass your medicals? I passed my medicals. You passed? Yes, I doctor approved. Doctor approved. We got it. <laughs> oh my fucking god! It's happening! Wings passed his too! Wings passed his too! They passed. That's great. They passed. I thought he wouldn't be able to do it. <laughs> oh my god. All right, I'm going to call you back. Okay, awesome. Right. Uh, Jordy Jordan, your boy got all his medicals done. 
Boogie 2988, eye doctor approved, medical examiner approved, dentist approved. This fight is happening. I'm laughing at all you fools who said it wouldn't. And then he's got a gif of Jabba the Hutt. This has got to be a fake fight. The Happy Punch prelims will be streamed on Misfit Boxing YouTube channel absolutely free. The first fight is Zuckles versus a mystery. Who the fuck opponent. is Zuckles? Then, of course, we have Archie, a Fortnite player, versus Nestor, who is like this family channel. Then oh. we have Corn. You know <laughs> we have Corn from Twitter fighting Unibear. We have a Fortnite player fighting a family channel person. Steve will do it for awesome. Milk is singing the national anthem and then Boogie 2988 versus Wings of Redemption. I'm doing the boxing commentary along with Mams Taylor for Misfit. She get DSP for that. Gideon. I'm sure he has great commentary. Streamed absolutely free for you to watch on Misfit Boxing YouTube channel and it's going to start at 5 p.m. local time or noon eastern in the united states so get out your phone set a reminder you will not want to miss this okay i'm gonna be watching that because i'm kind of curious how fake this is going to be god damn boogie with those punches look at that look at those punches those are a lot better punches look at those like wings of redemption actually has better form and better punches Notice how they both have dogs in their videos? The history with me is I didn't show up to the um, the camping trip, which I've showed up to everything else. I, like, I've always put it this way. I literally flew to Mexico and paid a man that doesn't speak English to cut my stomach out. You could do more damage to that back, and that back is barely holding on. You could end up having a stroke or heart attack. You get punched in the chest. You could create a clot. There's all kinds of things that can happen here. Why are you doing this? And the reason I'm doing this is because it is dangerous, right? Like, that's the thing that I've always been afraid of, man. Uh, we were doing pad work with him. He's put in the work. Like, he's hitting the pads hard. Oh, it must be talking about wings. Hard. He basically says it doesn't matter. He's knocking you out. Oh, with what? I mean, like, the dude's got arthritis in his fucking Yeah, head. trash talk, like what? WWE. What is all this? This is my haunted house stuff. You see this out What a here, fucking man. pussy he is. Yeah, he's on Twitter blocking people. God damn, bro, brush your teeth. Be honest with you, one of the things I'm fighting for here is this collection, man. I don't want to, I don't want to lose some of the cool shit that I have. Ladies and gentlemen, drama alerts and Happy Punch presents. Boogie 2988 Wings of Redemption 800 pounds One ring Okay, so that it was 800 pounds one ring wings re wings of redemption versus boogie I still feel like it's gonna be a fixed fight I feel like this is fake. They're going to ham it up just like WWE, which, don't get me wrong, I love WWE. But at the same time, this is supposed to be boxing. And I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that it exceeds my expectations. I'm really hoping this is good. And no matter what, Wings, Boogie, at least you're not DSP.